Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Jamaica will have 16 flights per week from the United Kingdom later this month. Now, this signals a near full rebound in airline seat capacity coming into the country. A release from the tourism ministry said a team, including the minister Ed Bartlett, is in the United Kingdom engaging with a number of stakeholders at the World Travel Market event. TUI, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic, are the three airlines carrying passengers between the UK and Jamaica out of London Heathrow, London Gatwick, Manchester and Birmingham. Mr. Bartlett says they're also exploring service from other gateways into Jamaica. The Business Post of Ireland is reporting that Digicel's owner Dennis O'Brien will use the 1.4 billion US dollars net proceeds from the sale of Digicel Pacific to Australian telecoms group Telstra to pay down debt. The newspaper says that the debt payment would cut the group's total borrowings by a quarter to just over 4.1 billion US dollars. The Business Post says Mr. O'Brien will also secure his near 100% control of Digicel. The move paves the way for the billionaire businessman to make a second attempt to tap U.S. stock markets with an initial public offering of Digicel in coming months. Mr. O'Brien previously considered floating the business in 2015, but the idea was shelved. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin says manufacturers of goods paid more for inputs in the month of September. The produce price index for the manufacturing industry went up by 0.3%. The main contributors to the increase was an upward tick in the major groups, food, beverages and tobacco, and chemicals and chemical products, which each increased by 0.5%, and refined petroleum products up by 0.2%. For the period September 2020 to September 2021, the cost to produce goods in the manufacturing industry moved up by 15.8%. 155 dollars 63 cents is the average selling rate for the u.s currency it's costing 126 dollars 30 cents for the canadian dollar 212 dollars 67 cents is the going rate for the pound and 184 dollars 29 cents for the euro and finally the jc index lost 1122 points while the junior market index declined by nine points among the winners were kelly group Sibani Group, Stanley Motor, I Create Ordinary Shares, and Kingston Properties. While on the losing side, G West Corporation Ordinary Shares, Cygnus Real Estate Finance US Dollar Shares, MPC Caribbean Clean Energy, Trans Jamaican Highway US Dollar Shares, and Lasco Distributors. And that's the Business Day. I'm Vashon Brown. Have a good evening.